So someday, your child will watch this video, I think. What I would you say to them about now, about right now, that they should know about your land, about your life? Uh, to my boy, you mean? Yes. Um, uh, maybe um, I will say him that I was a lot of dreaming about you because uh, I don't know why but uh, I was thinking that it will be very difficult to to create a family to to protect because besides our families we are protecting our lands and you know uh, we Artsakhian people we used to have not one boy two boys three boy because automatically we are thinking that we must lost one boy because of the war so if you've seen our last video um, you probably understand a bit more of the history of Artsakh if you haven't seen it I would recommend go watching it first because it's going to give a lot of the background information that will make this interview make sense but we are staying in a guest house here in Shushi. It's a wonderful place. Anthony Bourdain was here just yes, a few yes, months ago, yes, right? Yes. So, a few months ago, yes. Um, so following in some really in this cool kitchen. footsteps. In this kitchen, no less. And uh, we are sitting down to an interview to talk about what I view is, is abnormal and normal at the exact same time. It is living in a war zone that has been going on for 30 years. But at the same time, if you look outside, if you look at this house, it couldn't feel more safe. It couldn't feel more normal. So to be here and see that normalcy, but at the same time know that you have shrapnel in your leg from the war, yes, right? Yes. You're 22 years old. Piece of iron. Old, right? yeah. uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, that I to don't me, wish you. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer not to as well. Yeah. But that to me is really, really fascinating because it's not my experience at all. But it is an experience and I think to truly understand this land, to truly understand why this is what it is, you have to talk with, with someone from here. So we have and uh, I hope you enjoy it. This is Rare Earth. Who are you and what do you do? Um, my name is Samuel. Samuel Sarian, my surname. Uh, I was born in 19, 1995, uh, just after the war. Mm -hmm. uh, war, uh, I mean Artsakh between uh, Azerbaijan, because we have territory problem with them. Uh, so uh, I, uh, after school, after uh, school I um, went to university. Mm -hmm. uh, now I am lawyer. Uh, but uh, after first course, uh, I went. I jo joined to army. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, having my. Uh, I was serving in Marta Ged region mm -hmm. in, on the border two years. So now I'm working in foreign ministry of Artsakh Republic, and have created a family mm -hmm. just uh, two months. You work in a foreign ministry of a country that no country recognizes. Yes. What does this look like? We are the feel feel us the same the na uh, the normal the same normal countries like every country, but uh, of course we understand that we have a little uh, not a little uh, a big problem uh, with recognition and uh, with aggression of Azerbaijani side uh, because uh, the, that uh, that is the main reason that maybe some countries are not recognized. As a, uh, not recognizing till now our state. Do you consider yourself a soldier? Yes, everyone is a soldier in Artsakh. Everyone is a soldier. Yes, we have 150,000 soldiers. It's our population, it's number of our population because uh, even in uh, first war uh, in 1992, there were a lot of women who were took part a part in the war, and we have heroes also, Artsakhian heroes who are women. Mm -hmm. What is more important to the state, you being a soldier or you being in the foreign ministry? 
being Artsakhian. Yes, yeah. but uh, and uh, also being a soldier and working in foreign ministry, it is very normal. It is, it is yes. all equal. Yes, equal. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So you need to be all things. Yes. How can you be all things? That's different. We, we, we do it. We yeah. do it yeah. very hard, but we do it. Mm -hmm. So why we are still a state? Mm -hmm. So you, you were born here and yeah. raised here. Your father made a choice to put you in danger. Yeah. Does that bother you? Uh, we protect our families. Mm -hmm. It is like a duty. It is like every Artsakhian, they burn from childhood. Uh, they are used to listen that we must protect our country so that uh, it is not uh, like something like amazing uh, it is not surpri surprise for us so uh, when he chose to stay here and I was born it was not uh, it was a very normal thing Uh, you know, it's coming from our uh, parents, our grandparents, that um, uh, from their stories, from their feelings, what they feel, what they uh, give us when uh, we are growing, and what they say us about Artsakh. And uh, mostly I am going on the feelings mm -hmm. that we feel, and beside uh, history, because in history exactly there is uh, the very big fact that it is our land. So in 2060, uh, when uh, I was in university, like a very normal day, and we were, ha we, uh, were having exam, uh, and the rector came and said that you must uh, go home without panic because the, uh, the war was began and the aggression from other side began from all uh, over the border. They were shooting and using also huge artillery systems. And uh, with my four friends, we decided not go home, but go to the border, run away to the border. And uh, f uh, I didn't say my parents that I am going to the border. So uh, it was uh, 2nd of April and uh, we went to the border. We, uh, of course, uh, took part uh, for that uh, forces. And on the 3rd of April, uh, it was in night, uh, very uh, maybe 2 a.m., 2 o'clock. Uh, I had a uh, fragmental injury on my leg, uh, 15, 50 meters, I, I say it approximately again, if 50 meters uh, near me explode uh, like a uh, bomb, uh, like an yeah, Azerbaijani bomb, yes, yes, and I had so one little piece of iron on my leg and I came back, uh, they uh, took me to hospital in Stepanagert and after nine days of ambulatory, I went to the border again till June 15. So to, so to clarify, you you went on April 2nd to the border. Yes. On and April 3rd, they bombed ahead. you. Yeah. And you got a piece of bomb in your leg. You went to the hospital for nine days. Yeah. And you went back to the back, border? Back to the border. Immediately? Yeah. Yes, immediately without even coming home. How did you feel? <sighs> It was amazing, amazing thing because, because you know, uh, from we were uh, from childhood, we were uh, watching TVs like uh, Terminator. I don't know some forces we are shooting, and it was the real life. I don't uh, know one people who can say that I am not like uh, afraid because you must afraid. If you are not afraid, you are a little crazy maybe. Yes, you must a little. Afraid, but uh, not run away. You must stay uh, in your position and force for your country. What, what for... stops you from running away what, internally? Is it internally? Your friends? Is it what, what no, 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 no. Uh, stopped my uh, feeling that I can lost my family. I can lost uh, if there will be some people like me who can run away. There will nobody on the border, and they can easily take our country. So it's so, national. 
It's national, yes. It's coming from our mentality. I don't know, maybe from. It's coming from our inside. After uh, after hospital, I went to another uh, district, another, another uh, area. area to, yes. Did they know you were okay? Yes, yes. We were communicating by phone. Okay. Yeah. So, so it wasn't completely. No, no, no. It was easy to communicate. What What did they say to you? They said that. Uh, oh, I said them because uh, one kept me like this when uh, that ex bomb explode and he was just married one one uh, week only one wee week and when i called him no, when they called me i said them uh, him that uh, why did you do it because uh, you have created your family one week only but i have I have nothing to lose lost mm -hmm. so why did you do it but he said that uh, it came from the uh, uh, air i don't know maybe god said that do it but, and you you are my friend you are no, all Armenians, all Artsakh, mainly in Artsakh, we feel like this country is a little family for us, and every uh, everyone feels uh, everyone to like his brother or sister. I don't know. Do you think about defending yourself? Uh, not myself, my family. My uh, and my from my family to another's family, another's uh, Artsakh family is the whole Artsakh, the whole country, the whole Armenia, big Armenia. So uh, when, uh, for example, uh, I went to the to join to army, and uh, I was serving in on the border, uh, I was thinking only about one thing that uh, behind me is uh, waiting for me. Uh, me my mother, my father, my sister, and uh, all uh, Artsakhian people whom I don't know, but they are Armenians, and uh, there is a very huge connection between us, mm -hmm. even we don't recognize each other. So uh, there is not uh, something amazing thing. We are doing our best to protect our country that belongs to us from very, very ancient times. If there will be necessity, I will give my life. Like I, when I went in April, I was dreaming. Uh, I was thinking about two things: I will be back, create family, and I will die, and to give a chance to another to create a family. Only that. So it is. It is coming from my our blood, blood, our soul, like. War, every war has its rules. I used to say it uh, everywhere that there are some rules that you can do it uh, during war, during killing even people. Like uh, every country, they are having fighting, yes, so on. But uh, as there is, uh, I think they they don't follow that rules. Mm -hmm. They not only kill, they cat heads, cat nose, ears. I don't know and so on and the same it was in april Why? unfortunately i don't know maybe it is coming from the very a lot of aggression if uh, maybe from that let's say put it one video in uh, youtube and facebook that uh, teacher is asking azerbaijani t uh, little children one or two class maybe um, and uh, who are your enemies they say that armenians what you will do with them they say that uh, seven years old child says that I want to kill, uh, to separate, but it is something amazing and something very ugly thing. But we did the same, the same video in our schools. We say that, uh, that we ask our children uh, what you will do with them. As they only say, uh, my duty is to protect our land, our land. 
uh, by what uh, by uh, and only that not so aggression not aggression raised, not aggression and earlier you said that maybe your friend felt God when he protected you obviously Azerbaijani or Islam is this a holy war is that why you fight for God for land no, for land for land only uh, we have our religion we are Christian people and uh, the first nation who accepted Christian by state but uh, it is not uh, war for God it is you know it is uh, war for uh, uh, first of all our families our uh, and fa every family creates a state ever uh, our uh, native land uh, which is coming from very old very very old times very old centuries and uh, only uh, re the religion is uh, uniting us yeah. i mean i mean not uh, like fanatism it yeah. is not fanatism You're a new father. Soon. Yes, we are waiting for a child. Waiting child for is child. coming yeah, after some months. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If your child is a boy, do you hope that he defends Artsakh? Of course, of course, because it's my gen genetic. Mm -hmm. If uh, uh, my son is mine. <laughs> it's, it's <not. laughs> I joke. <laughs> there is no choice. No, uh, they. Uh, I mean, they feel it uh, without me. Without my say that you must protect. You no, know, mm. it's coming genetically. And uh, if uh, there will be war, I will go. I will let you and will go. I will leave you. My family. My parents, you, even you, even you are not born, but I will do it. And I will hope that you will continue my work because uh, my father, it, he is a little serious and not serious. One time he said that, uh, it was in April also, he said that why I, uh, you haven't married till now, why there is no child? Because he was thinking that maybe he can lost me, but he can uh, feel me in my uh, boy. So uh, I am now very proud that we are waiting for a child. It doesn't matter uh, boy or girl because both will fight for our Arsa if they will be very big necessity. So I would like to say him to continue my work, continue the work of uh, all our people who wants only peace, only to live without any aggression, any things, to have a lot of uh, friends from abroad, to communicate, to speak, to have friends, to have guests from, to show our Artsakh, our land, our nature, our uh, mountains and uh, simple life, normal life. It's, it's very fascinating. And I guess uh, I'm very close to done, but I have one more question. What would you say to an Azeri? Well, Azeri. I will, Azeri? Yes, I will say that uh, we want only peace. And I would like to change their mind. If I will have uh, a chance, I I would like to change their mind because if Azeri they will come for for example like tourists to come here to see uh, Artsakh, they will never feel aggression from us. <laughs>